Hey Jim. What? We're back. Ladies and gentlemen, we begin a new season of The Bachelor Boys. I'm Art. I'm Jim. I'm pretty excited. I am too. Uh, why were we away for so long? I've been very sick. No, you haven't. No, you're right. I haven't. Well, I think we should get on with it. I think so too. What have we got today, Jim? Well, today to start us off, we've got a fantasy adventure title from 1983 called Prisoners of the Lost Universe, or Potloo for short. It was directed by Terry Marcel, who also made the cult fantasy title, Hawk the Slayer. Potloo is one of those classic old fantasy films where a group of modern day people inexplicably find themselves teleported to a fantasy kingdom where they must embark on a quest to liberate the native people from some oppressive guy, as well as find a way home. We actually quite enjoyed this one. We found it very similar to the rollicking, fun spirit of Sorceress. Although it's cheesy at times, we found it really quite endearing. The main characters are pretty standard fare. First you've got this woman, Carrie, who likes to put snakes to sleep by shrieking at them. Well... Then you've got this guy, Dan, who's a pretty average sort of bloke. He can also be a violent moim. What is your violent male? They obviously have some kind of chemistry going on, and eventually they suddenly and inexplicably Please, fall in love. Please take your hand off my butt. Eventually the two heroes find themselves teleporting to another dimension, all because a mad professor made a thing where he could send things to another dimension, but then it malfunctioned. Something we liked about this world was how unique and interesting it is. It's such a believable fantasy world filled with bizarre flora and fauna. Yeah, it's kind of like those 90s PC RPGs such as Albion or Planescape Torment. It's not your average Orcs and Elves kingdom. Like, check out some of these creatures who inhabit this world. First, you've got these indigenous natives who are really nasty and have flashing rave eyes. Then there's the beast who lives in the water. He's called the Water Beast. Water Beast. Bad way to die. There's also this giant fat gold man. He explodes when he runs into a giant rock of dung. There's also these terrifying underground dwelling grim reaper type creatures. Also there's a talking vulture. Of course, no fantasy film is complete without a stalwart party of adventurers, friends who each help each other out in the quest with their unique skills. So the two humans eventually meet up with and befriend three quite unique adventurers. Well, let's meet them. First you have this giant man thing who looks like Peter Jackson. He's an expert at hitting things with his plus one club and has a lot of HP and a high store rating. His name is Man Beast. Here is Man Beast saving the day. Then there's Malachi, a wily little British sounding rogue. He's got plenty of decks. Being a thief, Malachi loves his golds. Golds! Finally, you have Green Man. He's really weird. 
That's a green man. They're really weird. Green man is some kind of ranger, so he knows a lot of natural lore and has a lot of whiz and dex. He's also green coloured. What is it? Clean air. This way. So our stalwart party must band together to liberate the lost universe from the tyrant Cleel, here played by John Saxon, who is probably best known for co-starring with Bruce Lee in his most famous film, Enter the Dragon. We thought Saxon made a really effective villain. He did ham it up quite a lot, lapsing into almost Shakespearean style villainy at times, but because of the context of the character and the setting, we thought it worked quite well. So the heroes undergo a series of battles, tests and adventures in their quest to get to Cleel's fortress and save Carrie, who's been taken by him as some kind of concubine. Here they are, going into a dungeon of some kind. Don't forget to eat the chest! Oh. One thing we noticed about this film is the amount of hilarious stock sound effects used. That's why this time, our top 5 is going to be hilarious stock sound effects used in Potloo. So after breaking Carrie out of prison, everybody gets into a big classic swashbuckling fight in the fortress courtyard. Double kick! Double punch! One thing we were so disappointed in was Cleo's death scene. It came out of nowhere and was just so sudden and underwhelming. Cleo's law is harsh. So finally, after all that, they managed to find a way home. However, Dan and Carrie decide to be jerks and not say goodbye to anyone or take anyone else back to the real world, not even the professor. Well, we quite enjoyed this one. It did move slowly in parts, but it also introduced us to a unique world with some great swashbuckling adventure to be had. I heartily concur. Yes, but where? 